Hello. Say hi. Hi. Welcome back to That Chick Angel TV. I'm Angel, and this is who? What's your name? Marcus Anthony Tanksley. You're Marcus Anthony Tanksley. Yeah. Oh God, you're so cute. Okay, so today, me and little Mr. Marcus are working on a really cute gift for his two teachers for Teacher Appreciation Week. And you all know I like things that are creative and cheap. So we are making his teachers da, 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 watches. You going to come up and join me? <laughs> so these watches, and I'll take a picture and insert it here. are very simple to make you do need some supplies and you all probably didn't know this i used to make jewelry for fun before i had a child then i put all my jewelry stuff away but i was like this will be a cute gift uh, will you stand up and do this right with me so here are the things that you will need to make these lovely watches for most craft stores you can get the two different color beads some needle nose craft pliers scissors, safety pins that are about an inch and a quarter long, stretch magic that's 0.5 millimeter in diameter, and you can order your NARMI watch faces online from any wholesale watch vendor. So the first thing you need to do is select the color beads that you want. So we did that. And um, you're going to need to thread your beads onto safety pins. So I typically do about 78 safety pins per, uh, per watch. So you'll get one like this. This is what it'll look like once you've threaded it. And get me a silver one. Give me one that looks different than this one. Give me a different one look. Different color. Yeah. And the silver ones will look like this. Or whatever color you decide. So this is how you thread them together. So I thread about 78. That's like the average size wrist, the 78. So I did, how um, uh, I many, 36, 36 of one color and 36 of another, of another color. Okay, this part can get really tedious. Sometimes I just scoop the safety pin into the pile of beads because sometimes it'll thread itself. And other times I'll actually manually put every single little bead on. You want to make sure you feel the the thread of the needle of the safety pin all the way up until you get to where the cap will touch it so that it can actually close. You don't want to put too many on there or the cap won't actually close on top of the safety pin. Once you get them all on, you want to take your needle nose pliers and you want to pinch the inside of the cap. This way, the needle or the safety pin won't come undone which will happen if you don't do it and you'll lose all your beads and all of your work will be for naught. So make sure you pin it closed so that the needle cannot come open at all. And you also don't want your gifts sticking the people in their wrist. And that's it for threading the needles. That's like the hardest part is threading all the beads. It takes a little bit of time. Okay. It takes a little bit of time, but you can just sit and watch TV while you're threading the beads. After you do that, you're going to have to take your elastic cord and you're going to have to cut it to the size of the wrist. Can you give me the little stretchy cord? This is called, hold on one second. This is called Stretch Magic. I've had it for a long time. Um, it is one diameter, oh sorry, one <laughs> millimeter in diameter. So it's a little Stretch. bit thicker. They have like a 0.5, which I also have, but I think this is it better for the like watch. That. Yeah. So the way I do to measure off is I wrap it around my wrist twice. Oh, I'm about to sneeze. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> Woo! I've been in my garage getting this stuff out. I wrap it around my wrist twice and then I'll, don't thread it yet, baby. Don't thread it. And then I'll cut it right there. So this is around the length that I'll be using to thread these watches. Bang. It's like playing a guitar. Bang dang 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 With these watches, these square watch faces that you've got or excuse me, rectangular watch faces, there are little holes, as you can see, and you have to thread the elastic through these holes. Now this part can get frustrating because these holes are very small. So when you put the cord in, you're gonna kinda wanna twirl it around a little bit to help it um, point up so that you can get a hold to it and pull it. 
But don't give up the fight. You will be able to pull it through. And you just got to be able to do the first side done. The second side is a whole lot easier. But now it's threaded. And we're going to add safety pins. Show them the safety pins we're adding. There we go. What I typically do is do three of one color and then go to three of the next color. You want to make sure that one, when you thread it, the beads are facing the face or the same direction as the face of the watch and not going towards the back of the watch because nobody wants to see that. And you want to make sure you lay the direction of the beads in an alternate fashion. So meaning if the bottom of the safety pin is on the right of the watch, on the first one, you want the bottom of the safety pin to be on the left side of the watch. So there's the first one. Can you give me another one, please? My lovely, handsome assistant. So I'm going to lay it out the opposite way. It's a lot easier if you have a table to do this, too. So you see I've already added two. And then I'm going to add one more of this color. Can you get the three of the other color, please, Marcus? Of the other color. Of the color safety pins. The dark ones. Hmm? Yeah, three of those. See? I mean, I'm alternating so that they're laying flatter with each other. No, of the, uh, yeah, so I want that color. Give me two more of those. So now I'm going to add... The other color, still alternating the way they're laying, but all the beads are going the same direction as the face of the watch. You're such a good assistant, sir. You're welcome. Okay, so we put all the beads on, and look at how pretty that band is going to be with the silver and the iridescent, dark iridescent beads. So, I wish I would have made the thread just a little bit longer. I actually didn't even use all of the safety pins. I left off three, but it'll still work. Um, because the one I have is not tight at all. It uh, fits perfectly, kind of, with a little bit of give. So, I think this will work fine. You see it has a little bit of give. So, the fact that I left off three, I don't think will be a problem. So, sir, can you come back over here? Get over here. Get that off your head. You're now going to thread these through the other holes. So I've threaded it through. I just flipped the watch inside out really quickly. So now the threads are coming through here, and I'm just going to tie a couple of knots in it to secure it. So once you tie the knots in, you make sure it's not going to come undone. Your watch is finished. So this was a really simple gift. Okay, so we have a finished watch. Isn't it cute? Yeah. It's really cute. I think teacher Ashley will love this. So we're going to make another one for his other teacher. But this is something really simple, really, um, I feel like, thoughtful that you can make for a teacher or a mom, an aunt, a grandma that doesn't cost you a lot of money. I'll place a link to where you can get the watch faces from while all the other materials, like I said before, you can get at Michael's or Joann's or any other craft store. So, yeah, that's it. This is fantastic inexpensive but thoughtful Mother's Day gift. All right, so make sure you guys tune in next week as I do more stuff on my channel and with this little guy. <laughs> and also make sure you all check out my new show that will be on the Mom's View. I do believe it'll drop May 19th, but I'll give you all the exact date as we get closer. I'm super duper duper excited. Yes. Share, subscribe, comment, like. I'll be um, dropping a couple of my hair videos next week. And um, some daily vlog stuff since you all said you wanted it. And as always, you can use the hashtag Ask Angel to leave me a comment below for me to answer. Or a question below for me to answer in my Ask Angel segments. Um, and then I also have some um, balling on a budget uh, hauls that I'll be doing. So I'll be doing a Ross haul, a Salvation Army haul. Just letting you know how you can shop cheap, people. Yes. Bowling on the budget. All right. <laughs> Tell everybody. Bye. 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 Subscribe, share, like, comment. Mwah. Kisses. Mwah.